we're going to do something we've never done before with our keynote. We're going to show you a movie. It's amazing. I got a sneak peek. And then we're going to introduce you to the stars of this movie, some phenomenal kids with OCD who help us understand what this disorder is all about. So before we show you the film, I'd like to bring up the filmmakers, Chris Baer and Kelly Anderson. Can you come on up real quickly? I think you guys have some fans. Test, test. Yes, it works. Okay. Hello. So I, I would just like to ask you guys to give us a little background on the film. Um, I've gotten to know you a little bit over the past couple of days. I'm just blown away at your passion for this project. You have devoted, what, two years of your lives, passion, time, energy, talents, um, to make this come together. And I'd, I'd like to start by just asking you real quickly, how did it start? Uh, first of all, thank you, everyone. This is the world premiere no one's ever seen Unstuck before. So thank you all for filling this room. If you want to sit, Indians, you know, sit down below. Uh, there's room here, but you'll have to look up the front row thing. But so Unstuck, my wife and I, Allie, uh, when my daughter was suffering with OCD and we didn't know what the heck it was, uh, we went to Google and we um, searched OCD in kids and the IOCDF came up and that began our education. The links, the information on the uh, OCD Foundation website started us down a road of finding out and, and, and getting her help. So I have to say thank you to Jeff, thank you Ron, thank you Susan, thank you everybody who's worked on that website, wrote all that stuff, sent links to books like Worried No More and Blink Blink Clop Clop and all these books I see out here that I'm like, wow, I read all those things, it's amazing, and it helped us. Um, so thank you so much for allowing us to be here and thank you for putting all that information out there. It helped my family tremendously and I'm forever, we're forever, my wife Ali and I and Vanessa in your debt. Um, so Jeff, when my wife, I mean, when my daughter was going through OCD, we realized she needed help, and then my wife and I realized we needed help. So we started a parent group in Brooklyn. Uh, I went on a couple Yahoo groups, and I said, we're starting a parent group who's interested, and Kelly was one of the first people to show up. And so that is kind of where Unstuck began. Yeah, so thank you. I'm so glad that Chris created that support group, I went to it, um, and I started sharing about my daughter's OCD, which was very, very serious at the time. And um, I was also a filmmaker, I am a filmmaker, and I had finished a project, and I was trying to figure out what I should do next. And I wasn't making any progress, because every time I tried to research anything, I would end up just on Google researching OCD and kids. Um, that's like all I could be interested in. So I was like, okay, I think maybe we should make a movie about OCD and kids. I knew there wasn't really much out there. But I was really, um, as a parent, I was really concerned about um, representing the children as victims, and I, I knew what exposure therapy looked like, and I was really worried about putting that image out there in the general public, and I felt very protective about the kids. Um, and so one day, my daughter went to, um, she was at OCD summer camp um, with Chris's daughter, and I was driving home, and they were in the back of the car, and I'll never forget it, because Vanessa was, that's Chris's daughter, was saying, Sophia, have you ever lost something important to you because of OCD? What was it? And so Sophia answered, and they were talking in this mature, intelligent, um, just incredibly uh, sophisticated way about OCD, and that's when it dawned on me that we should just feature the kids in a movie. And much as we love the doctors and the other parents and the experts, we were like, no, let's just let the kids talk. Um, so that's what we did with Unstuck. I have to thank Chris, because Chris and Allie, his wife, were the ones who first said, yes, my daughter will be in the film, and that was Vanessa. And I really just want to thank the other parents here, because they trusted us, and they let their kids do this, and I'm sure it wasn't easy to give us control. So can you guys just stand up quickly, the parents? A few other people I have to thank, my own daughter, Sophia, who's not in the film, but she inspires me every day in her, in so many ways. And finally, um, there's one person without whom not only would the film not have been made, but our kids, I mean, I don't know if any of us would even be here anymore. So we really have to thank Dr. Ariz Rojas at the Mount Sinai. Uh, where is Dr. Rojas? 
<laughs> yes, can you stand up? <laughs> This woman is a superstar and, and truly amazing, and we love you. And next to her is Dr. Storch, who I believe trained her, and he also helped us tremendously with the film. Okay, enjoy, right. Unstuck. Thank you, Chris and Kelly. Would you guys like to see the film? We're gonna dim the lights. This runs about 22 minutes, I'm told. And then afterwards, we're gonna bring up the stars. We're gonna bring the kids up here. We're gonna to talk to them a little bit about what it meant to make this film and what they hope to accomplish through it. So let's roll it. My service showed me an island. And my island was like invisible. And OCD's island was like the world. I just kept thinking like I'm crazy, no one knows what I'm going through. Like in school, if I wrote like a story or like an essay or something, I'd feel like I needed to like erase it and then rewrite the whole thing. And then I'd like stay after class trying to erase it and write it, erase it and write. I just had a bad feeling that something would happen because I didn't read the tag on my clothes in a certain amount of times. My parents didn't know it was OCD, so they thought it was just me being like disobedient. It was also very hard when you were kind of a little afraid of me. had a feeling we were going to see a psychologist. We did these things called hierarchies. We would list all the things that were giving you trouble. We would write them all down and then we'd do different exposures for it. Watch video clips of superheroes, watch movie with superhero, dress like a superhero, wear a Hulk mask. They had me write curse words in the Bible. Exposures are like challenges. Sometimes when I tell people I have OCD, they're like, oh, I have it too. I just like, I in my house, I just like to have everything clean. I just look at them like, you don't understand. I can take a shower. I can wash my hands. I can read a book. Would you like to meet these kids? Wow. Chris and Kelly, I bet that made you feel pretty good. How about you guys? Did that make you feel good to see what this audience thought about your movie? These wonderful kids have allowed us the opportunity to ask them a few questions today about the film and what it means to them. So guys, we have this one microphone. If you guys don't mind passing it along, I know I'm gonna um, direct some of these questions at some of you. And so Vanessa and Sarah, where are you two? There you are. I wanna start by asking you two, why did you want to be in the film? And you guys did such a great job. Okay. Um. I wanted to be in the film because I just, when I first started having intrusive thoughts, I didn't know what it was. And I thought something was wrong with me. And for a long time, I didn't even believe OCD was real. I thought I was wrong. And so I just wanted to be in the film to like encourage other children or grown ups that have OCD or their families are dealing with it, and yeah. Well, I wanted to be in the film because I wanted to be able to show other kids that they are not alone in this world. They have other people that are just like them with OCD, and they can eventually fight it all away. Um, it'll still be there, but they have the tools to fight it now. and. 
um, that they're not alone. That's it. And you guys really conveyed that. Uh, Jake, will you answer a question for us too? I would like to know from you, what do you think is important for kids with OCD to know? Well, I think the most important thing for kids with OCD to know is that they're not alone. And after going through group therapy, at first, when I first was diagnosed with OCD, I thought I was the only person going through it and no one could understand. And no matter what adults would tell me or anything, it, it just wasn't enough. But then after meeting kids who were going through what I was going through, it really helped me. And I think this movie is an amazing tool to show kids that they're not alone. Yeah, and you guys have done such a great job. And the amazing thing is that there are no adults in this film to screw it up, right? You, you guys got the message out there from the expert's point of view because you are the experts. Ariel? Share with us what you would like people to know about OCD, specifically people who don't have OCD. What, what do you want them to know? Um, I want them to know that it's not just about being organized or keeping things neat, but it's about the thoughts that you have and then the rituals you have to do to like make that thought feel better and make yourself feel better. And you just have to learn to stop doing that, break the cycle, and you'll get there. Excellent. Uh, Holden. I'm going to pass the microphone back down to you. What's the most important thing that you have learned about OCD? I mean, you shared some of that wisdom in the, in the film with us. Share a little bit more. Well, I would say that it's beatable. Like, I mean, there's so many options and choices you can do, even customized for you, that you can get fixed or whatever you want to call it. So, <laughs> so I mean, you never lose hope. I mean, you'll, there's always an option for you. So. Excellent. We loved your story about the bodybuilder, too. <laughs> How about the sisters? What's, what's the question the, here? What's the question? What do you want us to know about being a sibling of somebody with OCD? Because I think a lot of people don't realize that it can be just as challenging for you as it is for them. Well, honestly, I feel like the main thing that all siblings have to remember is it's not them. That's, that's not who they are. They don't, they don't want to hurt you. They don't mean the things they're saying. That's not who they are. And you have to remember that and remember to stay close and be there for them. And honestly, I think you have to realize that it's okay to take some time for yourself too because through this, I've realized that even after all this OCD and now that he's better, um, I still deal with a lot of issues after this because he's better and it's, it's done for him. But for me, it's still so real. Six years of dealing with this still, still is there for me. It's not just better. I'm not better now. We're not... It's, it's there, and you have to realize that it's okay to take time for yourself, too, and this isn't just about the kids, which I'm so proud of all of you kids. I'm so proud of everyone out there with OCD that's there fighting it. I'm so proud of all of you. Yeah. <laughs> Am I doing the same question? Yes, yeah, same question. You were okay, so okay. wonderful in the film about Thank helping you. us understand how difficult it is when a sibling uh, has some issues with you because of OCD. That's tough, right? Well, I agree with everything Tatum said. Um, it's also almost like what Jake said, your family is in it with you. I mean, I think it's just as hard to have OCD as to be there. Um, because you have to be very patient, first of all. And sometimes, like I said in the film, you don't know at first. And there are a lot of closed doors talks um, if you have a sibling and you don't want them to know. And they're just sitting there like, did I do something? Or is this have to do with school or what? I want to know. Um, so I think it's very important that you, first of all, tell your sibling if you feel comfortable with it, because it might actually um, like almost return the favor because they will be there for you. How old are you? I'm 10. 10 going on 30, huh? 
I'm impressed. So here's the thing. We're going to let the kids get out to a table out there in the lobby because they have DVDs and T-shirts. Are you guys going to sign them? No extra charge? Will you sign them for them? All right. So sign DVDs, sign T-shirts out in the lobby. Um, well, we're going to ask one favor of you. We know you want to talk to them, and you, we know you want to tell them how wonderful they are. Let's let them get situated back there as we wrap up the keynote first, and then you can go see them and talk to them and, and share all your, your wonderful thoughts with them as well. Big round of applause for the stars of Unstuck. Chris and Kelly, if you would come back up here. Yes, can somebody help the kids get back to the table? Maybe Allie and a few other people? Okay, and while they're doing that, I want to ask you, Kelly and Chris, um, to share a little bit about what's next for the film. Are you, yeah. you're, how are you gonna get it out there in the world? Well, this is really exciting for us because this is exactly where we wanted to premiere the film because you guys are the main audience for the film. So what we're doing now is we're gonna kick off a whole engagement and um, impact campaign and we really want to work with all of you in your various organizations and support places and so on to use the film so please reach out to us um, we're going to be submitting it to festivals and trying to find a broadcast partner if anyone here has any connections in that area that would be really useful um, it's available right now for educational institutions and organizations hospitals and clinics and so on through new day films and, um, and then in a little while, we're gonna make it available for everybody um, through home video. So um, if you purchase a film or anything you buy back there, DVDs, T-shirts, whatever, everything goes into the engagement work. We're hoping to really tour the film, have the kids speak with the film, and, and really just keep it going. And also, if you like the film, please push it out there on social media. That's really important for us. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. All right, Chris and Kelly, thank you both so much. You'll be out there at the table too? Okay. I want to mention one more thing about the film. Um, we at the IOCDF are so proud to have played just a small role in helping coordinate some of the interviews and some other aspects of the film. Um, but I, I, it dawns on me that this is a great, tangible example of what an organization like the IOCDF can do. And it's a reminder that your donations to this organization, we are entirely donation driven. Your donations to this organization allow us to be there as a resource for filmmakers and so many others who are doing this amazing grassroots advocacy to get the message out there that OCD is treatable. So please keep that in mind as you're considering your donations to the IOCDF and anything that you can do to help support this organization so we can keep bringing you amazing projects like this one. So that pretty much wraps up our presentation. I do want to mention that tonight is the Saturday Night Social. How many of you have been to one of those before? Show of hands. Oh, it's a blast. We, we play music, we dance, we sing, we get crazy, we let our hair down, and we give out some more awards. And it's a wonderful, wonderful evening. We hope that all of you will come join us for that tonight. Um, exciting news that uh, next year we are going to be in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. And we want you to come join us there. It's going to be an amazing, amazing evening and uh, weekend for us. And we hope to see all of you there. Again, there is a reminder for you to fill out your evaluation forms, if you would, on your way out. Have a wonderful time at the conference. We're so glad you're here. I hope to see all of you in the lobby and not on my back in the stretcher. Thank you very much. Thank you.